Oh, what I wouldn't pay to be a fly on the wall right now at take two to hear Struss Zelnick's absolute meltdown. So the GTA 6 trailer dropped and it has people divided. Now you have a lot of bots on Twitter and yes, I don't believe a lot of those people are real people because they, well, have been proven time and time again not to be real people or they just, uh, I'm, I'm going to, as a gamer, I'm going to politely keep that criticism to myself. But uh, if you're thinking about uh, go touch grass to your comment, yeah, that was about it. So, for me, there is nothing to hide from that trailer. You have a girl boss main character. You have an emasculated male main character who doesn't really do anything, except for listen to her. The whole trailer was nothing but a massive DEI ESG show fest, where they're like, oh, hey, look, oh, we have the first female character in GTA, except for GTA 1 had four female playable characters, but, you know, let's... Let's uh, let's just rewrite history for the woke cult. And they're just nothing really to hype about. Like the graphic looked good, okay, but who thought the graphics were gonna look bad for a Rockstar game? In the comments, you know, post like if you thought the graphics were gonna look bad, you know, say let us know in the comments. Like, hey, I thought the graphics looked bad, and like I was like, wow, man, those are really good graphics. I'm mind blown. Like, who who didn't think they're gonna look good though? It's like we all thought they're gonna look good, and that's all we learned from this trailer. Other than hey, being stuck in a forced relationship in a GTA game, you know, the game where you go screw prostitutes, do drugs, do a lot of degenerate stuff, you know, that kind of game, you know, where the you basically uh blow off steam. Yeah, now you're in a forced relationship. Yeah, I'll, I'll let that sink in. And Wall Street. The investors, they, they, they're not wowed either. Because after hours, there's a massive sell-off. And I do mean massive. It brought the stock price down to $154.15 after hours. It climbed back up afterward after a way smaller buy-up, which... Kind of makes you wonder how you have this much sell-off to get to that low, but that tiny amount of buy-up shoots the price almost back up. I mean, some would say the system's rigged. I would have to agree with them. So, and then you see it fluctuating throughout the whole day. Now, why is this important? Okay, so they just dropped a new trailer. This should not be what we should be seeing. All right, hold on. Let me refresh this real quick. I accidentally dragged something I shouldn't have, and it screwed up. Okay. So this is not what we should be seeing. This. Why won't you cooperate? This is what we should see. Straight from there, this is around the announcement. They, they, when they announced they're going to have a new trailer, when rumors were speculating, it shot straight up. Something like this. A nice sharp incline. We should not be seeing a massive sell-off and then what it basically looks like institutional investors trying to prop this company back up. And now who are these investors? Why can't we have nice things? Well, you have Vanguard, BlackRock, two of the top investors, Two of the top pushers of ESG. You have Public Investment Fund, the Saudi Arabia Investment, which also does ESG. Capital International Investors and Capital World Investors. As far as I was able to tell my research, same group, ESG. State Street, known for their ESG. JP Morgan and Chase, ESG. So if you don't know what ESG is, it stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. Now, part of that is DEI, which is Diversity equity and inclusion which is basically mandatory um, diversity quotas and stuff like that and uh a lot of stuff that some people call anti-white racism which is currently being struck down in the courts but we're going to be stuck with this nonsense for a couple more years now in the description there's going to be a video from midnight's edge they can they'll explain all this stuff a lot better than i'm going to right here I'm just giving you guys the cliff notes. Now, if you want further proof, here is Larry Fink, the head of BlackRock, 
straight up telling you they're going to use their money. Well, technically, it's not their money. It's your money invested through them that they're using to then destroy your civilization. And here's him in his own words. Behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. 54% uh, of the incoming class are women. We, we added four more points in terms of diverse uh, employment this year. And it, if it, it, you know, what we are doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? We're doing the same thing. And so it's just, it, of course you have to force behaviors. And if you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. And that, people? That's why we can't have nice things.